25 summers ago, you were working on your first film. To, first film. Uh, She's Gotta Have It, second, first yeah. feature, 25 summers ago. Yeah, we were done by now. <laughs> did, did you we, were, we went from July 15th to July 30th. We shot it for 12 days. You're, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Legacy, <laughs> do you think about it? No, what, what we think about is the, the body of work. That's what we think about, you know, continue to build upon the body of work. No more nightmares of breaching levees, black waters that did come murder and drown. No more silence, tea parties, racial division, poverty. Yes, we can. The payments we will pound if God is willing and the creek don't rise. No more political pushers who use our time to sell their lives. No more sacrificing the American people, leaving us with nothing but sighs. No more corporate all wanting their lives back. Indictment of criminal charges. The whole damn crew. No more use of our Gulf Coast waters, wetlands, heritage, and soil. No more up yours, Louisiana, but we all know there's blood in that BPR. If God is willing and a creek don't rise. Hi, this is Mike and you're watching Real Black TV. Today we're in New York. We have the honor and privilege of being with legendary filmmaker Spike Lee, whose latest film, If God is Willing and the Creek Don't Rise, is about to premiere on HBO. What's uh, up, how you doing? Excellent. Cool. cool. I, like, I like this cadaver. That's a new one. I like that. Thank you. Just mm -hmm. picked it up. Before this, you know, there was a thing called Katrina fatigue. And, you know, we were on Haiti for the earthquake, and then there was Haiti fatigue. So it's always hard to keep the spotlight on over a sustained, you know, time. But we knew when we finished, when the levees broke, that this is an ongoing story. We weren't done. And with the blessing of Sheila Nevins, who runs HBO Document Department, and Richard Plepper, who runs everything here, with their blessing, we knew we would return. It was just a matter of would be when. And how, and how did you how did you know when to go? Five was a good number. Yeah, the we got Super to see Bowl. Blessed right away with the our first day of shooting, the Saints win the Super Bowl, and uh, we thought we had our ending. And this would be a much more upbeat piece. We visited New Orleans then five years earlier, but BP had other plans and uh, it turned into something else. When it all happened initially, we thought everybody was dead on that rig. We, there was no way anybody could have survived it because when the, when the thing exploded, the whole thing lit up. All indications are that the explosions on the drill floor incinerated those people immediately. Nobody had any plans for what happens if the technology didn't work. They didn't have any plans at all. They had, they had, their, their fallback position was to go grab a bucket and a mop, and that's what we're seeing people scrambling around doing now. When the BP thing happened, it underscores the point that a lot of the things in our system that we depend on, rely upon, are, are kind of broken or in disrepair. I mean, do you think they can be fixed by just paying attention to them, or do they need a complete overhaul? Well, I think it's a combination of the two. But when April 20th happened, we had finished shooting. And so we had to reconfigure and reconvene and turn the whole thing over. And so of this four hours, the last hour is devoted entirely to uh, the biggest oil disaster in history in the world. Right. This is 20 times Exxon Valdez, what happened in Alaska 20 years ago. So you've been down there. You have the people, they've experienced two really heavy-duty tragedies. In, in less than four years. I mean... Huge do, hits. Do you, can you still have faith at that point? Oh, they have a lot of faith. They believe in the Lord. Come on, that's the Bible Belt, baby. But the system, the government... The belief is in the Lord. You know, that's... Can't rely on government. Government took, them, government took five days to show up when the city was 80% underwater. And hence the title. Yeah. Whether that spotlight is there or not, I think we as people can't forget uh, our Americans that, you know, who, who are in a bad way. 
Thanks so much uh, for having me here. And God is willing, comes out on HBO this month. I don't know how you do it, man. It's just hard work, baby, hard work. <laughs> we didn't give up. We didn't lose faith, but people need to see what we're going through.